we have uh tim ross okay tim ross this is another one okay <laughs> the one who was out there he's got bread in his pocket <laughs> I got bread in my pocket. <laughs> saying that, uh, I mean, can you imagine this guy actually said that Jesus was a stripper? Where is the fear of God among these people? Do they have any? Unbelievable. So we're going to, uh, here's what he said. You should just hear what he said over here. We'll interact. Paul always warned the churches that he wrote to against false teachers. Mm -hmm. He never named who they were. Peter warned against false teachers. Jude warns, warns against false teachers. He doesn't tell you who they are. Right. The only people that they name are people that they have direct, that they had direct relationship with or mm -hmm. di direct proximity to. Mm -hmm. So they weren't like, I heard this guy in Florida mm -hmm. preaching this stupid message. They, they weren't saying these people's names. Right. When, when, when Paul starts talking about Alexander and Philetus and Hymenaeus and Hermogenes, he knows these guys. Right. He's worked with these guys. Right. And he's writing letters to other people that know them as well. Right. It would be like, you told me, hey, man, I'm going to be doing something. I'm just making up a name. So yeah. this is not anybody we know. Hey, man, I'm going to be doing something with Pastor Greg mm -hmm. at, you know, 123 Church yeah. in February of next year. Do you know him? Yeah. If I know that dude is willingly, willfully disrespectfully and egregiously yeah practicing sin mm -hmm. not something i heard i'm talking about actually no yeah. i know right i would be like hey nick i might even text you hey yeah. nick which is all paul's letters are our text messages right, right? right i just want to well, i just want you to know watch out for pastor greg right he has literally been preaching a doctrine just to get people's money right so tim rose is saying that we shouldn't be saying that anybody we shouldn't be calling out false teachers unless you know these false teachers. That's when you can call them. And oh, by the way, you need to know them by name. You need to have a friendship with them before you can say anything. H how is that working out for you, Tim Rose? Hmm? Where, 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 where are you getting these things from? The scripture is, if, if the scripture is telling us, huh? beware of uh, uh, ravenous wolves. They are in sheep's clothing. Beware of them. So if we don't know their names, uh, is that is that going to fly on a judgment day? We'll be like, oh, Lord, oh, I didn't know that uh, Tim Ross was a false teacher. I didn't know him by name. Huh? <laughs> That's not going to work. You don't even have to know anybody by name, okay? You just take what they're teaching and you measure that up with the scriptures. So if whatever else they're teaching is in contradiction to, uh, with the scriptures, have no dealings with them. That's what the scripture teaches. You don't have to wait to know their names. When Paul was telling the Galatians, Galatians, who has bewitched you? How come Paul is not mentioning the names of these witches in, in Galatia? Hmm? When he was calling out the Judaizers, right? This is a group of people. How come he wasn't mentioning the actual names of uh, the, the Judaizers by name? Huh? He does name other people for sure. You know what I mean? Alexander the coppersmith, he does name. But that doesn't mean not everybody was mentioned. Not everybody was mentioned. When Jesus was calling out the Pharisees, it's not that all the Pharisees were, uh, were bad teachers. Okay, you have Nicodemus. Uh, Nicodemus who was involved in Jesus' ministry. So there were other Pharisees who were good. Paul himself was a Pharisee. So this is just telling you a group of people who are behaving in this way. It's nothing to do with, quote unquote, because Peter is not mentioning uh, people uh, by names. Therefore, we shouldn't be mentioned the false teachers by names. If we are not mentioning them, how will the church be warned? Because we're supposed to, Aaron sharpens Aaron. We're supposed to warn each other. We're supposed to fight content for the faith. Jude himself, he says, certain people have crept in unnoticed. So who are these certain people who have crept in? Hmm? Where, where are the names? So this is so unfortunate that people are just, this guy, Tim Ross, he just says things that do not match anywhere in the scripture at all. Okay? At all. So now, uh, are we, does the Bible, is there a precedent for scripture for us to be calling out false teachers? The answer is yes, 100% yes. We, we have to be honest about it. We have to be using scripture, right? Scripture interprets scripture. So it's not about like, ah, uh, you know what? Uh, I just don't like Tim Ross. So, therefore, Tim Ross is a false teacher. That's not how it works, okay? I take what Tim Ross is saying, you measure it up with the scripture. So, the things that he's saying are not found in the Bible. Whatever he's teaching, he's teaching falsehoods. 
So there are other, you know, you might have certain disagreements. It's fine. You can have certain disagreements. But there are certain things that they are core doctrines, right? These are the things that we have to divide over. The Bill Johnson example, that's a core doctrine. That's something that we have to divide over. This is not a matter of like, oh, you just don't like him because he's, he's charismatic. No, it's nothing to do with that. It's, the, it's his teaching. It's not just, ah, oh, maybe he just said this out of context, slip of a tongue here and there. No, his entire ministry is, is, is wrapped up in things that are in contradiction with the scriptures. They hook people up with the music okay they hook people up with the music you have good sound churches they play Bethel music you have elevation song music you have Hillsong music you know I used to like Hillsong music okay they did have some some hits in there <laughs> I just like oh boy what about this song I mean look at the Maverick City you see so those are th that's what they use to bring people in fact I knew I didn't even know that Hillsong was a church I knew about the music long before I knew like oh wow there's a church What's up with that? You know, just like, oh, wow, this is so nice and exciting. So this is the situation uh, that the trick that we find ourselves in whenever we are, when we put our gut down, pretending like it's, you know, it's not a big deal. So it is important to be calling out the false teachers. Why? Because we are warning uh, the sheep. We are warning baby Christians. How many people are they go How many people buy tickets to go to that conference? Because Jackie is on the stage with Bill Johnson. Hmm? And how many of them are aware of Bill Johnson's teachings? You see what I'm saying? Because they'll think like, oh, okay, oh, Bill Johnson is just, is, is fine. You see what I'm saying? That's the problem. So when we're doing these things, we're obeying, we're obeying the scriptures. Because the scripture commands us to do so. So we're just obeying the scriptures. So when we do it, we have to do it biblically. We have to test the spirits. Hold fast to what is good. So these are the things that we're doing. Not only that, this is not just a matter of just calling for the sake of calling, right? We are calling them. We want them why to repent, because if they don't repent, if they don't change their ways, they, you know, uh, the wrath of God abides in them, right? It awaits for them. Because if you're believing a different Jesus, you have another gospel, and that cannot save you. And if you're teaching that to a lot of people, you are just misleading a lot of people astray. So if we keep quiet, if we don't open our mouth, pretending like everything else is good, we also going to give an account, right? Like, you know, you didn't say anything. Why didn't you say anything? Okay? So these are the things that uh, we are required to be doing. Okay? We have to use wisdom. We have to use discernment. And we have to be honest and we have to be truthful standing on uh um the scriptures that's what the bible teaches okay so we have a uh, scripture over here i want to share with you this is proverbs proverbs 23 23 you know buy truth and do not sell it buy wisdom instruction and understanding these are the things that we are caught these are the things that we should be doing so don't just leave it all out there we have the truth is with us all right guys stay tuned more coming this week that is all that i had for you guys today i hope you find this to be informative to you be sure to subscribe follow me on instagram twitter and facebook until next time remember to be in the know thank you